Calling all units. Aero vehicle causing havoc on main highway. A series of crimes has been committed in the city over the past few hours. Uh-huh. I was sitting right here when all of a sudden the cash register opened up all by itself and the money just came floating out in front of my eyes. It's becoming increasingly obvious, ladies and gentlemen, that the dangerous criminal known as the Invisible Man has struck again. He has spread panic, even at the annual fashion show, by sneaking into the supermodel dressing room. It's so weird. Clothes just started flying off the hangers all by themselves. Even the police have been attacked by this threat to society. Important secret files have disappeared from right under the noses of police officers. No one will be safe until this dangerous, invisible threat has been removed. Invisible Man versus the Invisible Man. It's your fault I'm late, Photon. Dropping a banana skin on a police car was really not a good idea. I wanted to be on time so I could be with Linda at the inauguration of this major exhibition. No, no, don't try and butter me up. You have to stay outside. You can't come in. I told you that. Good morning. This is Sid Network, live once again, bringing you Magnopolis' biggest cultural event. I sincerely wish to thank Wallace Morton for his contribution. Unfortunately, Mr. Morton is abroad today, but without his help, this exhibition would have not been possible. I would also like to thank the Chief of Police, Mr. Westwood, for assuring the safe transport of these priceless works of art. This exhibition on transparency and magnapolitan painting hmm. brings together paintings by great masters such as Van Kuch and Picaboo. Here, ladies and gentlemen, we have, amongst others, a masterpiece from the last century by hmm. well-known painter Van Kuch. Hmm. Ahem, I can't say a thing. It's all happening over there. Turn oh. the other way. Well, it looks to me as if nothing's happening. Look at those paintings. Aren't they sublime? Yeah, if you say so. But I bet Photon could do just as well. Oh, Alan, this is the last time I ever bring you to an exhibition or an opening. Of course, this is a unique opportunity for all of us to be able to contemplate today these works of incalculable value, a legacy to the whole of humanity. Oh, no. Photon, what are you doing here? I told you! All right, I'm coming. But this better be really important. <laughs> huh? Now, what's that? Hmm, you know what, Photon? We have to act fast. Something serious is about to happen. We better be prepared. <laughs> An exhibition which all of Magnopolis can enjoy. <laughs> it's a new attack by the Invisible Man! 
the villainous criminal is destroying the paintings! Oh, it's monstrous! Stop him, somebody! Arrest him! <laughs> Stop right there! Understand? What's happening here? I can't believe this. Oh. He's back. There he is. Now you don't have any spray paint. Freeze you, Vandal. Uh oh. I think I'm in a big mess. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> the trap's closing on the Invisible Man. Hey, yo, Alan! Get a load of this, dude! Oh, come on, Monty. Aren't you getting sick of spending whole days watching television? Look! They say mm -hmm. the Invisible Man's gone crazy! Some people believe that the Invisible Man was a superhero. Well, here's the proof that he's very dangerous. Too cool. That Invisible Man's a real artist. He's committed an incalculable number of crimes in just one day. That's impossible! Me now, an eyewitness to the terrible crime committed at the Magnesium. You, sir, saw the Invisible Man vandalizing the new art exhibition. It all happened so fast. He came in here and just started to... Mm -hmm. And you told me he painted the crowd, too? How dreadful, how despicable. This is just dreadful. Um, I can't say for sure that... Thank you both for your eyewitness accounts, which confirm our fears. It's all lies. It wasn't... I mean, how can they really be sure it was the Invisible Man? Well, for the simple reason that if a trench coat with a hat and glasses appeared without anybody visible wearing them, it must have been him. Aha, there you go. There are so many people who don't like the Invisible Man that it must have been him. What an attitude. Not even you defend him, Monty. I'm sure he's a good guy who works to protect Magnopolis. Well, if you want my opinion, those paintings were ugly. He did us a favor by repainting them. I think they're much funkier now. You watch too much television, <laughs> Monty. I watch it because I have to. It's for my study on television versus the reality of the outside world. And the outside world is really dangerous, Alan. It's full of invisible criminals. Wait, wait a second. Did you hear that? Alan, what if it's him? I didn't see anyone come in. It must be the invisible man. TV is making you paranoid. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're naive, Alan. You don't even know the invisible man. He could very well be in our apartment. Shh. Huh? Oh, come on, Monty. There's nothing to be afraid of. Look. Give yourself up, Invisible Man! I know you're here! Show yourself if you're up! Oh, man! There. Come here, boy boy. It's all right. No one's gonna hurt you. Right, Monty? Do you realize what this means? Sid Network hired me to do a report on the series of crimes committed by the Invisible Man. Isn't it fantastic? Yeah, I suppose so, except that there's still no proof that he's the one who did all this. Well, whether he's guilty or not, if I can film his arrest, believe me, it'll be a huge scoop. Besides, look at the facts. All the evidence points to him. I've always thought the Invisible Man had something to hide. Oh, and you think being invisible is easy for him? Oh, Alan, please, are you kidding me? I think he loves it, and that he turned to a life of crime because being invisible makes it a piece of cake. Maybe the invisible man has no sense of moral values. But being invisible also means he can never lead a normal life. <sighs> You're right. He must be leading a fascinating life. All the more reason for getting in touch with him. If only I could get an interview with him. I'm pretty sure he would have lots of stories to tell. Mm, um, right. I, I have to go. I have to study for exams, remember? <sighs> Here comes the Invisible Man! Okay, see you tomorrow, Murphy. See you tomorrow, Chief. <laughs> Give me that! Hey! Oh, somebody help! Huh? Help me! I've been robbed! It's him! I believe this camera belongs to someone else. Hi there. Okay, I'm warning you. Hey, that camera's mine. Yes, and I just wanted to return it to you. But aren't you with them? No. Those muggers should be arrested by the police. They stole your camera, and they could have hurt you. But at the museum, you attacked us. No, no, that wasn't me. And I want to tell people my side of the story. Would you be interested in an exclusive interview? Of course I'd be interested. 
<laughs> Don't you worry, Photon. I'll keep my eye on things while Alan's away. He can say what he wants, but the invisible man can be anywhere in this room. Nobody is safe, but don't you worry about a thing, my little monkey fellow. My incredible extrasensory powers can help us find where the threat is. He's here! I sense his vibrations behind me! Uh-oh. <laughs> that stupid invisible man will never know that it was me who impersonated him and caused all that chaos in Magnopolis. I'm warning you. Nothing must go wrong, Chameleon. Nothing will. Trust me, I know the Invisible Man won't be able to resist the temptation to try and stop me after I publicly announce what my next crime will be. Once the gold bullion has disappeared from Magnaford, it'll be him the police arrest for a crime he never committed! <laughs> Tomorrow you will have your vengeance, and then you'll become the most powerful criminal in all of Magnopolis history, and I... And you, little Chameleon, will be my right-hand man, if and only if everything works out as planned. Wouldn't be the first time you try to cheat me. This is your last chance to work with me. Is that clear, Chameleon? Of course, as clear as day. This means it's all your own fault. Why don't you see how difficult it is to believe you, Alan? Do you realize the gravity of the situation? Gina, please, you gotta trust me. I'm telling you, I didn't have anything to do with all of that. It wasn't me. Of course. It was the Invisible Man who committed those crimes, and therefore, you had nothing to do with it, did you? Somebody must be behind all this. I told you, I saw another Invisible Man, and Whatever, Alan, but the situation is very complicated right now. Listen to me, I'm gonna prove to you that I've been wrongly accused, but in the meantime, you have to trust me. Do you believe me? Gina? Okay, okay. Who's gonna believe you if I don't, anyway? Oh, thanks, Gina. You're a true friend. <laughs> I'm sure the Invisible Man won't even turn up. I don't trust him at all. Besides, he's really late as it is. But he's the one who asked for this interview. <laughs> Do I look good like this? Dear viewers, following the very strange events which have been occurring during the past few days, I'm proud to bring you an exclusive interview with Magnopolis' most wanted man. Mr. Invisible Man, is there anything you'd like to say to our viewers? Simply that I am not responsible for the acts of vandalism committed over the last few days. But the police found your hat, trench coat, sunglasses, and gloves. They may appear to be real evidence indeed. However, the uh, man! Uh, you're under arrest! Uh, police! Stop it! Don't let him get away! <laughs> I'll prove that I'm innocent! My interview! I need my arrow scooter. Oh, sorry. This is going from bad to worse. Uh -huh. Oh man, it looks as though they were expecting me. Oh. This can't be happening. It's a nightmare. I've got to wake up. I can't go on. That's it. With all that's happened, I'd be better off never being the Invisible Man ever again. Is that you, Alan? Oh my god, you're totally soaked! It's terrible. No one's gonna believe me. They all think I'm the villain. I'm... I'm all alone. Oh, come on, Alan. Don't give up. I know it must be tough, but we have to take action. Look! There's the proof! I can't be in two places at once! That's right, Mr. Network. And I hereby declare that this town's troubles are only beginning. Tell me, Mr. Invisible Man, don't you think the police will get you in the end? The police... <laughs> the police can't stop me, and that's why I am going to rob Magnafort. Are you serious? You're going to steal the gold from Magnopolis' central bank? Tonight, Magnafort will be empty. I defy anyone to try and stop me! <laughs> Thank you for this interview, sir. Brought to you live by Sin Network. This is sheer provocation! We can't let that imposter get away with that! Yeah, but Magnafort is supposed to be impregnable. How is he gonna do that? And who is he, anyway? I haven't got a clue, but if this fake invisible man pulls this one off, everybody's gonna believe it was you! And they'll never stop <sighs> hunting you down. Unless you stop him, of course. That will prove your innocence. Magnafort is a real fortress. I don't know how I'd get in there even if I were invisible. How about 
if you had the blueprints. Now that's a great idea, Gina. Have I ever told you that you are... Brilliant? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. But let me tell you one thing. This is not going to be easy because once you're inside and the alarm goes off, you're trapped. And if the police catch you, they'll be glad to put you in jail. Unless our imposter friend confesses in front of everybody that he's responsible for that series of crimes. And I have a surefire getaway. Huh? Ugh, Alan, pick up the phone, please. Just my luck. Why is it that you're never there when I need you? He must be busy uh, elsewhere. Oh, you again. Hey, it wasn't my fault the interview didn't work out earlier. No, oh, I know. It's okay. I don't blame you. The police are making my life impossible. But to make up for it, I propose an exclusive. A report to prove my innocence. That's what you said the last time. I can get us both into Magnafort tonight. <laughs> yeah, right. And all I have to do is film the robbery while we're at it. Exactly. You really mean it? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is going to be the scoop of the year. Well, but, but why would you want to do that? Well, because I'm desperate. I have to prove to everybody that I'm innocent. Mm -hmm. I assure you, as of tonight, the Invisible Man will no longer be a public menace. He'll be sitting in jail and serving a lengthy term at that. My fellow citizens, ladies and gentlemen of Magnopolis, you can rest assured that Captain Westwood is watching over the city. This guy is funny. I really like this cop show. Don't you think that this actor is just great? Monty, it isn't a television show. It's the news. It's real. Alan, I need you to help me. Oh, please. Listen to this. I have a chance for a real scoop. The genuine Invisible Man is going to get me into Magnafort to film the robbery and prove his innocence at the same time. Oh, but Linda, that sounds dangerous. Are you sure you want to do that? Of course I am. But I can't get Mary into a mess like that. Will you come with me, please? No, yeah, well, unfortunately, I've got to. I have other obligations, Linda. Listen, I'd rather not go there alone. Uh -huh. I'm scared of what could happen. But I'm going, with or without you. All right, I'll help you. Excellent. And I'll be watching you guys on TV, OK? Mm -hmm. In the meantime, could you bring me some popcorn? I'm busy working here. So, you understand how it works? In a few minutes, the Invisible Man is going to open the side door on the south side of Magnafort. We'll only have seconds to get inside. Now all we have to do is wait for the Invisible Man, OK? Hey, I'm yeah. just gonna take a look around. I'll be back in five minutes, okay? Yeah, but make it quick. I don't want to miss the scoop. Yes, sir -y. I know darn well which way you plan to get in. There will be no escape for you. My intuition doesn't fool me. This time you won't escape. Thanks for giving me the code. No, it's time to go and Alan still isn't back yet. Oh my gosh, he'll drive me mad. Where is he? The door's going to close. Hey, my camera! Well, you bring that back! Hey, I heard you. Where are you hiding? But it's her again! Give that back! Why do these journalists always have to poke their noses into everything? My camera! Oh, Alan, you're gonna pay for this, you and your scoundrel monkey. I hope it's not serious. Uh, oh, no, no, it's not your fault. It's that coward, Alan. Oh, I'm sure he didn't do it on purpose. Don't defend him. He doesn't deserve it. Alan's a lost cause. But come on, let's go before I get started on that. <laughs> Photon, time, I'll film it. This is it, right underneath the vault of Magnafort. You men stay here and cover me in case anything goes wrong. Nothing will go wrong, Iron King. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm warning you. If anything does go wrong, you're gonna pay for it dearly. Now, cut that bolt open! What a maze. I don't know how our imposter friend hopes to get to the vault without setting off an alarm. Perfect. That's where the vault is. Your turn, Chameleon. There's a control panel. Remember how to get past the security? Yes, right under the noses of the guards without them seeing a thing. And when they're all trapped inside and I'm heading down the halls in my trench coat in front of the cameras, it's all nice and videotaped. Piece of cake. Hey, the vault security system's down. The emergency system is on, but... Oh no, we're locked in. How can it be possible? Somebody must have overridden the security system. Now, where could that girl be? Hey, what's going on? 
Quick! To the wall! It's locked! Hey! Well, don't just stand there. You got no time to lose. Move it! And now I'll make sure the police are kept busy by capturing a certain guilty party. <laughs> Security boats engaged. Goodbye, Chameleon. I'll send you a postcard. Just like I promised, I, the Invisible Man, am about to rob Magnopolis' central bank. And no one can stop me. No, it's locked. Darn you, Iron King. Looks like the cheat's been cheated. Huh? This time, I'm not going to let you get away so easily. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. They're exactly identical. <laughs> the wires. I gotta connect them back together. I'm not done with you yet. Oh, wait. There's my scoop. What the? I knew it. That stupid chameleon's useless. The police will be here any minute, and the gold is lost. He'll pay for this. Turn yourself in. Everybody will know that you're the imposter. Your lives have failed! Halt! You're all under arrest! I congratulate you, Mr. Westwood. You've just detained the imposter who was passing himself off as the Invisible Man. This villain has been impersonating me and is the person responsible for all the chaos in the city. I only try to fight for justice and what is right. Well, don't just stand there listening to him! Arrest both of them! Someday, the city will know that the Invisible Man is a hero. You journalists are incorrigible. Well, next time, Miss Linda. Next time you want a film, ask my permission. Hi, Linda. How did the story go? A success? Yeah, here. That's for walking out on me when I needed you. <laughs> but I managed to get my scoop anyway. Huh? <laughs> Yippee! Woohoo! Good heavens, Alan. I don't know where you disappeared to when you said you were going to take a look around, but wherever it was, it couldn't have smelled too good. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, Alan? They caught him in the end. Do you know what that means? Yeah, it means I was right. It wasn't the Invisible Man. Well, no, because it was the other Invisible Man who carried out the crimes. There were two. An accomplice has been arrested by the police, but the Invisible Man escaped. Uh -huh. He is still on the run, and despite this failed robbery attempt, we'll probably uh -huh. be hearing from him in the days to come. That means the danger is still out there. <sighs> the other one is still at large. But, Monty, maybe the real Invisible Man is a hero. Well, let's just hope that so-called hero never comes anywhere near me for his own good. You know what I'm saying, dude? Relax, Monty. I assure you, the real Invisible Man won't be coming near you. Oh. We'll pass the popcorn, then. Uh -huh.